This is a Let's Talk Church Safety and Security Microsode with your host, Paul Buckner. So I'm not telling myself, always carry your tools. I, I hammer that home, I, I almost preach that. It is, it is who I strive to be, so now I'm gonna tell myself. I was getting over being sick, uh, was doing IT work in one of the towns that I'm actually commissioned in, one of the cities I'm actually commissioned in. Off duty, out of uniform, just wearing my civvies. And that morning I put on my gear and I didn't throw on my handcuffs. I always have a handcuff case on me with a pair of handcuffs in it. Didn't throw them on. Murphy's Law, that day, there was a guy came in belligerent, out of control. You know, I'm, I'm a tough old boy. You better watch your back, blah, 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 towards the proprietor, who is a friend of mine and a customer. <clears throat> and I don't have one of my tools on me. And I literally always have handcuffs on me. It's a Murphy's Law thing. And I, I almost swear that it wards off evil, uh, just having your tools on you. But the one time that I really could have used a pair of handcuffs and I was about to just walk over and go, look, sir, I'm, I'm trying to shop here like you are, you know, um, I'm an off duty cop. You've been asked to leave, you know, don't make me call in and go into service and, and have to arrest you for trespassing. And it fortunately didn't come to that. Another officer from our, my jurisdiction responded. We spoke, he talked to the guy, the guy really wanted to leave at that point and to not turn it into being trespassed or any kind of an arrest. But, and he found out that I was a cop in the course of that. And it was just one of those things that you need to always carry your tools on you. And, and the one that terrifies me is not having my gun on me. The one time that I can think of in the last year that I didn't have my gun on me, I realized after I left the house that I didn't have my gun on me. I turned around and went home and got my gun. Not because I'm afraid not to have it. Um, I'm afraid of the consequences of not having it if I need it. Always keep your tools close to hand. and. You know, it's a, it's, it's Murphy's law. You know, if you let the batteries in your weapon mounted flashlight go dead, that's when you'll need them. It's just one of those things that, you know, and being prepared, you know, a lack of preparation, you know, failing to prepare or a, a failure to plan is planning to fail. If, if I'm thinking of that saying right, but anyway, just a quick tell on my self situation, it ended up okay. Everybody was fine, but, um, I immediately made sure that I had my handcuffs on me. And so I, I went and as soon as it was over, I actually went and got a pair out of, out of my vehicle and put them in my back pocket just so that I had a pair on me. Uh, you know, make sure that you have your tools readily accessible if you need them, because if you don't have them accessible, the odds are just strange that that's how you'll end up needing them. So may the Lord bless you and keep you, may his face shine upon you. And it falls right in line with what we're talking about. Keep your powder dry, keep yourself and your tools readily accessible. Keep your, keep your training up. God bless. If you enjoyed this microsode, check out the video and audio versions of the Let's Talk Church Safety and Security podcast.